Some people wake up in the morning and say, you know, let's have a great full English breakfast or let's have a really nice hearty meal or a nice walk. No, Mike, on the other hand, is like, yeah, let me go to the cinema. Let me watch the Zone of Interest, a movie about the Holocaust. Let's get into my thoughts. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review. I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free because this is definitely an interesting one coming directly from us by A24 and directed by Jonathan Glazier. Now I'm going to be honest, I've never seen any of this guy's filmography. This is the first picture that I have seen by him and this focuses on Rudolf Hoss and his family trying to have a kind of normal family life outside of the concentration camp stop what you're doing because the link down below is to my patreon if you're not already a member memberships one pound per month you get access to so much early stuff videos competitions giveaways and so much more get your name in the limelight like these absolute legends thank you to all them who helped to support me and patreon it really really means a lot what are you waiting for become a legend yourself get your name in the limelight and i'll see you over there at patreon so that premise alone, I'm going to be honest, is probably going to put off a lot of people. And I completely understand if it does. This is a movie that is not for everyone. If you like artsy projects, if you like experimental movies, then I would definitely say that this one is for you. If you don't like that kind of stuff, like an everyday film goer, or you want a movie that has got likeable characters or characters that you can actually get involved in or hate, or a movie that has generally a plot, then this movie, again, is not for you. Because there isn't really a, a plot here, right? Because, of course, this is telling the story and the kind of, like, a fictionalized kind of version of it, and this is more based on a novel, but this is telling the course about the Holocaust and the concentration camps and Rudolf Hoss and his family trying to have a normal kind of family life while all this is going on next door. And it's a weird one, right? Because in one aspect of this, I do appreciate this movie for being different, for being ballsy, for doing something a little bit different. Of course, it's A24, so it's going to. But it's also very haunting at the same time because as... We are introduced to Rudolf Hoss and his family, played by Christian Friedel and Sandra Huller, who give really good performances, by the way. We see this family's everyday life, right? Where the kids are either sitting down to eat, they're playing with their toys, they are, you know, in the pool in the backyard, for example, or we're seeing the flowers bloom in the summer, for example, like a thing of beauty, which, of course, you know, flowers growing and everything like that is a sight of beauty to behold. Whereas next door in the background, we're reminded while all this kind of beauty we're seeing in the garden, we're seeing like a terror in the background, whether we're seeing a shadow of the watchtower or whether we're seeing guards walking by or guards walking behind this wall that is just built. It's dread. That feeling of dread is still there and you're reminded of it at every single turn where it is kind of the kind of the beauty and the evil as such. And those contrasting themes are definitely interesting because the cinematography is absolutely stunning, but also asks you to question what you're seeing. As I said, on just like a kind of forefront level, you're seeing this garden, you're seeing this family, you're seeing them enjoy life and trying to make a life for themselves in general. But then in the background, if you look further into the cinematography, as I said, you're seeing this never-ending war you're seeing the watchtower you're seeing these guards you're seeing these commanders so in that aspect of course the evil side of things it really just begs you to kind of question what are you truly watching and what are we seeing because this of course shows the side of like a german family enjoying life while this horrible deed is going on but there's also at the same time a couple of twists and turns that's thrown in kind of the second and the third act especially the third act that really just epitomizes the full picture that we've just watched for the, like the last hour and a half or so it really just puts that into perspective the devastating results the devastating impact of course of what the holocaust did now of course i'm pretty sure by now if you're watching this review or you're going to watch this movie you probably already know about the concentration camps the holocaust and all that kind of stuff so you already know that so this movie doesn't really add anything new to that mixture nor does it kind of ask you to kind of question anything different 
but it does give you a little bit of perspective of what a, maybe a German's family was like during this time and what they were kind of going around in terms of their kind of family time compared to say someone who was suffering or someone who's hiding or someone who was in the dark and the movie does have elements of that which I found to be really really interesting however I think the issues that I have underlying is that I would definitely say this is a one-time watch for sure this is not something that I would rush out to re-watch again or pick up on physical media or anything like that but also it's a one that at times I felt went a little bit too long, but I also would have liked to have kind of explored a little bit more of the avenues where we get the cinematography shown from kind of bright colors and vivid colors of like this garden compared to like a black and white kind of like night vision ish kind of style picture, which I actually found to be really interesting. But we only get kind of like a little sliver of that. I would have liked it a little bit more. So, sort of interest definitely an interesting movie to say the least a one that at least i found to have some kind of interest in it i can't say i enjoyed it <laughs> that's probably maybe a little bit morbid uh but definitely the sound mix added in here where it shows us to this to be just a haunting picture that i don't think i'm going to forget anytime soon so with that in mind i'm going to give this movie the zone of interest a score between two and a half and a three stars out of five are you going to check this out? Have you watched this already and you've maybe come to this review? Well, let me know down below in the comment section so we can continue the discussion down there. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below. Click over here to see more content that you may have missed of mine already. Until next time, I'll see you guys. I'll be seeing you later.